Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about what the Lewis number is. We'll talk about what this number represents and present a few examples where this number could be beneficial. The Lewis number is often described as LE or sometimes an N with a subscript LE. The Lewis number is a dimensionless number, meaning it has no units. But what does this even mean? Well, dimensionless numbers in transport phenomena and engineering as a whole provide us with a convenient way to characterize problems when there are several coupled transport mechanics. The Lewis number represents the ratio of the thermal diffusivity to the mass diffusivity of a fluid. Another way to state this is that we are comparing the relative size of the thermal boundary layer and the concentration boundary layer. Visually, if we have an incoming stream hitting a flat plate, this is what we get for various Lewis numbers. If you are unsure what boundary layers are, I will leave a link in the description below to aid your understanding. At high Lewis numbers, we have greater thermal transfer than mass transfer, and at low Lewis numbers, we have greater mass transfer than thermal transfer. In summary, we can use the Lewis number to characterize a fluid's transport mechanics, meaning how it will behave when we have conjugate mass and thermal transfer present. We can represent this mathematically as a thermal diffusivity, which is simply the thermal conductivity of the fluid, over its specific heat capacity times its density, over the mass diffusivity. Another way this could be presented is a Schmidt number over the Prandtl number. The Schmidt number compares the momentum diffusivity over the mass diffusivity of a given problem, and the Prandtl number is the exact same except for the thermal diffusivity instead of the mass diffusivity. To better understand what this actually means, let's talk about a practical example in which we could use the Lewis number. Let's imagine two scenarios. In both scenarios, we have a cold fluid entering a heated cylinder that is diffusing some component into our fluid as the fluid flows through the cylinder. But just note that both fluids entering have different properties. Let's examine both fluids a meter into our heated cylinder. In the first scenario, the temperature of the fluid is just about the same as the heated wall whereas the concentration of the component being transferred is relatively low still. This implies a high Lewis number value since the molecular thermal diffusivity is clearly higher than the molecular mass diffusivity. So this fluid, fluid 1, transfers heat much better than it does whatever mass is being transferred. Now let's look at the other fluid. We have the opposite reaction. At our point of interest, the concentration of our diffusion component is approximately equal to that at the wall whereas the temperature is still quite a bit lower than that at the wall. This tells us that the fluid, fluid 2, is much better at transferring mass than thermal energy and will therefore have a low Lewis number. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding about what the Lewis number is and why it is useful in the study of transport phenomena. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to address your concerns.